Christmas has snuck up on me this year and I am completely unprepared. I always enjoy crafting something homemade to give away as gifts. And because it's raining again here, today I'm going to make bath bombs and bath fizzy crumble to give away as Christmas presents. I'm going to use calendula in the bath bombs, which I recently harvested and dried to make calendula and comfrey salve. Here is a link to that tutorial. I'll also be using the calendula and comfrey infused oil. In this, I'll be using bicarbonate of soda, which absorbs excess moisture and reacts with the citric acid to create fizz. The citric acid also acts as a natural preservative. The coconut milk powder is soothing and hydrating. The kaolin clay is gently cleansing, purifying, detoxifying, and it also soothes sensitive skin. The calendula and comfrey is healing and soothing. The turmeric adds natural color and is also a natural anti-inflammatory. The Epsom salts soothe the skin, reduces aches and pains and stress. The coconut oil keeps the skin hydrated and reduces inflammation. You will need two cups of bicarbonate of soda and into this I add a couple of teaspoons of turmeric powder to get the color that I desire. Once this is mixed, I add in the rest of the dry ingredients. One cup of citric acid. A quarter cup of kaolin clay. Half a cup of Epsom salts. quarter cup of coconut milk powder, a handful of calendula petals. Once these are thoroughly mixed, I add in the melted coconut oil and comfrey and calendula oil. I use a sixth of a cup each. Mix these all together and if it's a little bit dry, you can add a few drops of water. I didn't find that mine was dry at all, so I left it as it was. From here, you can either make bath bombs or spread it out on a tray to dry, transferring it into your preferred packaging. I'm using these coffee bags to package them up. Or you can make bath bombs. You need these stainless steel moulds, but I've seen other people use silicon trays to make these. You need to pack the mixture in tightly, but not filling the mould up all the way. Then add more loose mixture, over filling the mould. Now you can pack the two halves together, pressing them tightly to make sure that it's all combined. And then you need to ease off the mold with your nail and your bomb should just pop out. If you find that your bath bomb breaks, that is okay. Just break them up, crumble them up again and you can repack your mold and start again. Leave these to dry before wrapping up as gifts. And of course, I couldn't make bath bombs without sharing some with my kids. 
I hope you enjoy this recipe and that you craft something homemade this Christmas. <laughs>